Well, congratulations on the 25th anniversary of the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom. I'm really uh, grateful for the opportunity to join the uh, uh, celebration today, at least in this virtual way. I apologize that I've got a bit of a cold and sore throat this morning, so I will not be singing happy anniversary, but I will be uh, singing your praises. Um, I was thinking that uh, there's a famous expression, uh, certainly around Congress, that sausages and laws should not be seen in the making. True enough. But the, the corollary or a follow on to that is that as a legislator, former legislator, I can tell you that when you're uh, fortunate enough to make a law, you're really not sure um, how it's gonna be implemented or whether it will work. And um, as someone who was privileged to work with a lot of people inside Congress, particularly Senator Don Nichols and people outside Congress on the International Religious Freedom Act 25 years ago this month, I really thank you for making this law work as well as you have. Uh, all of us felt that um, the idea of having uh, an International Religious Freedom Commission was so fundamental to what America is about that um, we, we didn't know why it had not already happened. I mean, think about it. Uh, when uh, the pilgrims arrived uh, on the Mayflower and stepped onto uh, the rock, uh, in Massachusetts, um, the, the spiritual leader, William Brewster actually uh, re recited the words of Psalm 100. So really from the beginning, this was a faith-based uh, um, country. Uh, and of course, it's right there in our constitution and declaration of independence, particularly the, the, uh, the catalytic uh, sentence about uh, the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that are the endowment of our creator. And um, apropos of the Religious Freedom Commission, th that uh, declaration uh, of, of uh, the faith-based human rights is universal. It's obviously God didn't give those rights just to Americans, uh, but to the whole world, every every person on earth. And uh, it's why it's so critically important that um, human rights generally, but also religious freedom specifically uh, be at the center of our relations with the rest of the world. And that's exactly um, why we adopted uh, the um, Religious Freedom Act 25 years ago this month. Uh, truthfully, we were, uh, well, I'll read you some words that I spoke on the floor of the Senate in October of 1998. Uh, a quote from me, this effort began with some pied pipers outside Congress who educated us to the fact that the religious freedoms that we hold so dear in the United States are not real for millions of people around the world. They were particularly not real for Christians who were then uh, subjected to discrimination and in many cases, persecution. And I would add uh, uh, that is still true in many places in the world today. I do wanna say that in my case, one of the pipe paper pipers, but really a better word is gadfly or uh, advocate was Michael Horowitz, who uh, made um, really compelling appeals to me that we needed this uh, kind of uh, commission. And the basic idea has just worked so well because of the work that uh, Chairman Cooper and the members of the commission now and all your predecessors have done, which is to do this annual report of the state of religious freedom in uh, every country of the world, um, report it to the State Department, the president, and thereby put the quest for religious freedom and our responsibility to support it around the world at uh, closer to the center of our uh, American foreign policy. 
And uh, it's really worked and, and had a big effect in uh, protecting the religious rights of a lot of people around the world who would not otherwise have been protected. Um, the reality is that uh, the work that you've done in the first 25 years, I think will be even more important in the next 25. Um, religion is like so much else in human history and our lives. It, it can either be used for good or bad. Uh, and most of the time, my understanding of history tells me that, that the, the power of religion to motivate people to behave well has been an extremely constructive uh, force, certainly in American life. But uh, it, it can also be extremely divisive and lead groups either who are not religious to find religion in their countries as a threat to them or uh, others who are religious to punish people who are not of their religion. And at, at this time, which is so divided in the world, in which so many people are anxious uh, and angry. Unfortunately, the, the threats to religious freedom may intensify. So the work that you do and have done so wonderfully uh, for the last 25 years will even be uh, more important in the years ahead. So what can I say but thank you. Uh, God bless you uh, in your work. Uh, you have, you have held America true to what America is all about and helped us fulfill our responsibility to take the blessings of liberty that we enjoy here at home and try to spread them uh, to people around the world. Uh, thank you very, very much for making this law work. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to join you today. All the best.